today is day two of not leaving the hospital until they either meet my needs for my care plan or send the police to come remove me from the hospital. Fighting for her safety, this is 22-year-old Tavia Marlett. She suffers from severe epilepsy, up to 50 seizures a day. Now, after a week of tests, Vancouver General Hospital is sending her home, but she's refusing to leave, saying it's not safe. If I go home, then potentially my mom can come home from work and find me dead. If I have a seizure while I'm here at the hospital, there's doctors and nurses 24-7 on staff. So at least I'll have a chance to survive. Tavia is now risking arrest. She and her mother say they won't move until the hospital guarantees adequate support for her at home. What we want is a guarantee. Um, we want a guarantee from the hospital that Tavia, when she's released, will receive eight hours of support during the day so she can be home and be safe while I'm out at work and try and continue to work to keep a roof over all of our heads. Um, if they're able to give us that guarantee, we're more than happy uh, to leave the hospital. But in a statement, Fraser Health Authority say they have, saying Fraser Health has offered to move the patient as soon as possible into another healthcare facility within our region so that we can work on a long-term plan with the family. Fraser Health is also setting up a meeting for the family with a home health community case manager to work on a plan to support the patient's needs in her own home with expanded care options. Every patient is unique and we continuously look to deliver the best health and care plan for all. But Rene doesn't want her in another facility. In her opinion, home care is the easier and cheaper option for the taxpayer. The cheaper option is always in the community and at home. The cost to keep Tavia, whether it be in a hospital or a care facility, is astronomical compared to hiring someone to assist her at home. I refuse to go into a group home or an institution or anything like that. It's not an option at all in my books. So basically, I am fighting for epileptics to get more funding so they can stay at home and live with their families. For now, Tavia has moved out of the neurology department into another area that can accommodate her. It's unclear how long this deadlock will last, but for mom and daughter, they'll stay until they feel safe. I'm not willing any longer to allow my daughter to be at risk because there's a bureaucratic system that's holding up the process of her getting help. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.